I was talking with my therapist about my frustration with the algorithm rewarding able-bodied people. Yes, I have a therapist. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I haven't been filming videos because I haven't been feeling well. However, the algorithm penalizing content creators who don't constantly upload and who don't have the best equipment. So it rewards people who continuously produce content and quality content. Living on disability is a financial barrier from getting a lot of the great equipment. So there's already an element of bias in the algorithm against people like me with chronic illness and disability who may be at a disadvantage with the equipment and physical capability of actually being able to upload on a daily or weekly basis. And last year at this time, I was in ICU. <laughs> My aide at that time, who had been blowing off most of her shifts, came in and quit <laughs> while I was in ICU. Thank you so much. And so I was discharged from the hospital, sent home to no aid. While I was in the hospital, I had received a use it or lose it voucher that had to be used within a very short time frame to find housing. The place where I was living was filled with like the secondhand smoke and the chemicals and it just made my body so much sicker. I found housing and then was this flurry of like trying to pack with chronic illness, rare disease, and then move and then unpack. I've had an aid for a few months now. The hours that are factored in are for activities of daily living. So they don't really factor in how much time it takes to unpack and put things away and, you know, put curtains up and stuff like that. I am still trying to recuperate from the past year. I have some limitations that prevent me from really doing what I would love to do for you, and that is provide amazing content. It's part of the reason why I haven't been uploading videos. The other part is just that the symptoms are getting in the way of me doing anything practical like that. And while I have my aid, who is very helpful, and I am so thankful, my brain needs a rest, my body needs a rest, and so that's just kind of the way it is. So my therapist thought that it would be helpful for me to continue making videos. She said it sets an example for people who may want to be content creators and just don't have the wherewithal and are intimidated. Hopefully, I'm helping to normalize some of that for you by not having the makeup, not having the hair, not having the best like equipment or lighting or anything like that. And while I do want to improve the quality and the quantity of my uploads, I can only do so much. And to admit that, I guess is a strength. Here, I'll show you what's actually going on. So now I'm resting my arm on the armrest. I am resting my hand on this. And now, et voila. Oh my goodness, so this is imperfect. Since I can't use my arms, I'm going to try my best to use head tilts and excitable facial features until it feels like my face is going to fall off from fatigue. But you get the idea. That's right, I thought I had hit record and alas, no, brain fog did not. While I was filming, my left eye drooped, uh, almost entirely shut. It's helpful to have certain symptoms well documented and that doesn't happen as much in my body. In fact, it's only happened a handful of times. I do have the classic variable fatigable ptosis, but not to the extent that that video could have potentially demonstrated. So a little frustration there for me. Um, speaking about frustrations, do the best that you can with what you have.